Saving money, saving the planet. These are just some of the reasons people are turning to solar energy to power their homes. But some customers of one solar energy company say what they were sold and how it was sold to them was simply shady. Problem solver Rob Wolchek goes undercover to show you how these guys generate sales. Hey there, Rob. Hey, Rupert and Tarrant. You're about to see the dark side of solar sales. This is Fox 2 undercover video. We are Power Home Solar. Of salespeople saying you'll save big money installing their solar panels. It's going to give you a 79% reduction in your bill before you cut the trees down. So I'm going to say once you get them trees down, you're probably going to be in the 95, 96% range. Promising you're going to get money back from the government. I'm going to get $15,000. Yeah, $15,000 back, I mean, from the federal tax. Uh, is that like a lump payment? Yeah, that's a one-time, I mean, check that you will get from the federal tax. Claiming you could cut the cord to the utility companies. Are you saying that with the solar panels, I can power my whole house without being hooked up to DTE? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. These sound like the same promises Power Home Solar reps made to these customers. It's absolutely false. Everything they tell you is a lie. For 2021, we uh, saved $21.30, but we paid over $3,200 in solar panel payments. I drank the Kool-Aid. These customers are mad. I'm, the, I'm losing. Mad at the salespeople who sold them what they say are overpriced systems. So my total loan is what was $47,000 for the equipment. And then my interest is over 20000 Mad at themselves. I feel stupid, and it's kind of like my own stupidity. I should have did a little more research. And mad at Jason Waller, the company's billion-dollar CEO and spokesperson, who's everywhere touting the benefits of Power Home Solar. Name's Jason Waller, CEO, founder, Power Home Solar. It infuriates I me mean, to see the guy on TV plastered all over the place, living high on the hog off of everybody's misery and sorrow. And they're not the first to complain. This 2019 complaint filed in Oakland County Circuit Court says Power Home promised their solar panels would provide 73% of the power being supplied to the property and reduce the electric bill from $223 to $59. And that Power Home committed a material breach of contract by failing to provide a solar panel system that functions properly. I don't know how he sleeps at night knowing that he screwed over so many people. It's a brilliant late winter's day in Holly, Michigan. The sun is beating down on Lee's Power Home solar panels. I wanted to be self-sufficient. That's what pretty much sold me. Last spring, a Power Home solar salesman told her she could own her own power. Coincidentally, the name of the Power Home CEO's best-selling book. But Lee's the one getting owned. She's still paying Detroit Edison for electricity. Your bill, like, last year at this time was, like, 103 or something like that? Yes. And now what is it? 105. She's also strapped with a loan that with interest adds up to more than $70,000 for her power home solar setup. So how much is Lee paying? $203.50 a month. For how long? For until I'm 60 years old, so 30 years. She says her system just doesn't work. They have people coming out here that don't know what they're doing and they don't care. And I believe her because it doesn't take a genius to realize the installers at Sonia and Jeremy's Trenton home messed up. They have solar panels that face north away from the sun here in Michigan. I didn't think north, south, east, west. I didn't, you know, it's, I'm trusting them to do the job right and do right by what they're supposed to be doing and we trusted the wrong company. The couple were trying to set a good example for their kids, live clean, save money, save the planet. A door-to-door -door salesman um, came and was canvassing the neighborhood, encouraging everyone to go um, green. Yeah, green is in lots of money. Their system works, but their DTE bill is pretty much the same. This last month it was $155 in addition to the $256 a month payment for the solar panels. They claim their salesman promised if they got a DTE bill at all, it would be less than 20 bucks a month. That's the same complaint a North Carolina couple made in Mecklenburg County Superior Court. Power Home sales process was designed to make customers believe they would experience a guaranteed drop in their energy bills of between 80 and 99%. And besides the big savings, Sonia says, Power Home told her she'd get a big check from the U.S. government. We should have received a check, according to the sales representative, of $12,000, which he repeatedly said, hey, you could take that $12,000 check and take a really nice family vacation. But none of the customers we talked to got this supposed check. 
Before I introduce you to more unhappy customers, let's look at what some of the salespeople caught on camera actually say. We had three undercover houses with three undercover solar customers. Our first salesman is Paul. He arrived in a power home car with Jason Waller's image all over it. I kid you not, two minutes after entering, this is what he says. You don't like that. What? Vape. No, that's fine. Yeah, vaping and blowing smoke. Here's what Paul claims. As far as your DTE pole goes, you should see anywhere from 75 all the way up to 90% really uh, offsets. Now our customer is promised that tax credit check. The federal government is going to pick up 26% of your gross total system costs. All right? So that is in the form of a check. And just like Sonia said, her salesman suggested... You can take that money and you can buy a new boat, go on vacation, do whatever. More from Vape Pen Paul to come. Next, there's salesman Dave. If you want to get totally off-grid, I can design your system to take your off-grid. Incredible! Especially since we're in a state that's not known for sunshine. In fact, we spend months buried in snow. They produce on rainy days, foggy days, cloudy days, snowy days. I mean, it's great. So the system cost is 57k. Then there's salesman Sujith, who tells her customer she'll have no payments for the first year. I don't want uh, to be I mean, seen as, uh, you know, like I'm pushing you. But the thing is, we don't advise people to let, especially the 12 months on us go, because that's, uh, you know, like, yeah, like, I mean, that's an amazing offer. They will manipulate numbers. They will manipulate prices. They will do anything to get a customer to buy. That's Megan Lindstrom. She says she worked for Power Home Solar in North Carolina, where the company is headquartered. She says Jason Waller was personally involved with the sales team, something backed up by Jason's own words. In December 2020, he told Authority Magazine, I started running the sales department and training reps myself. And it must be a good sales pitch. Because it sure sold Bonnie. The idea and the proposal is wonderful, but it doesn't work. Bonnie lives way up north in Kalkaska. Regardless, a power home solar salesman convinced her, even with only a few hours of daylight in the winter, she could power her home with solar. I want this stuff removed. It doesn't work. We have 41 panels up Got there. 41 41. Panels. Cam and Robert live in Flint. I'm paying $320 for the system up here. Mm -hmm. And then you add on my electric bill, you're talking close to $1,000 a month. Last month, they tell me their utility bill was $600. And you haven't seen any savings at all? None. No. That's and, honest and who have to you God's complained? tooth. Cam wanted to save the planet. Robert was sold by his love of football. Seeing Barry Sanders, you know, he was talking about power home solar and Ford Field having these solar panels, which I don't know if they really do, but they sold me on it. Yep, the Lions and Ford Field are part of the power home sales pitch. Watch. They've entrusted us to use uh, our panels and our products on their stadiums, basically. So when you see these lights and, you know, the concessions and everything else, know that power home is producing that power for them. Now, were you under the impression that the whole damn stadium was powered by solar? Yeah. No, no, yeah. seriously. Yes. Yeah. 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 yes, the yeah. way he sold it to Wait. us. You can see why. You know, Ford Field is all solar, right? No. It's 100% solar. That's not true, according to a spokesperson at the Lions who told me there's some solar at the parking deck, but the stadium itself, 100% not solar powered. But it doesn't really matter what any of the sales guys say, because in the contract, it says this. The amounts provided for energy production, usage, and savings are illustrative and hypothetical only and are not and shall not be in any way interpreted to be guarantees, representations, or warranties of any kind, shape, or fashion. Translation, don't rely on anything the salesman tells you. And if a customer sues Power Home, there's another clause in the contract that says all disputes will be settled through arbitration. You are giving up any rights you might possess to have the dispute litigated in a court of jury trial. That's right, customers likely can't even sue Power Home. So why do the customers sign this contract? One of our undercover customers repeatedly asked for a copy, but Paul the salesman said he couldn't give it to him. I don't want to go through the approval process until I've had a chance to look at the contract. So what does the high-profile CEO of Power Home Solar have to say about all these unhappy 
customers. I contacted Jason Waller personally on LinkedIn and asked for an interview. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for reaching out. I would love to. I'll have my team set something up with me and you ASAP. But two days later, his PR firm contacted me and said, Jason is not available for an interview. And I never heard from the billion dollar CEO again. So get this, the company has changed its name. Just two days ago, Power Home Solar announced they were rebranding. They will now be known as Pink Energy. Meredith Chiracosta from Do Good PR sent me a statement from the company, which says, Power Home is not providing tax advice and is not a tax advisor, adding there are a number of factors that could explain the impact on electric bills, including rate changes, energy usage changes, and service issues. They even say production drops off in winter months, but we didn't hear any of the Power Home salesmen say that. Meredith also says, Power Home remains committed to working with any concerned customers. But of course, the company has now changed its name to Pink Energy, so hopefully they'll still have that same commitment to their customers. Well, you know, when you take a look at these customers and you hear the pitch that's coming at them, I mean, the company really does, it seems, make it easy to sign on that dotted line. Yeah, they make it real easy because they come in there and there's no money down. They have a plan all set for you. In these instances, the customers have said, you know, they basically say you're not going to be paying much of an energy bill. So if you pay two, three hundred dollars a month to us and you're going to own this system and it all makes sense and they make it real easy and the customers are going for it yeah. and they're not happy about and it. And they seem like, they, yeah, they have an answer for everything, yet these customers are going to be paying basically for the rest of their lives, it sounds like, and, and paying it off. Uh, and yet they can't sue, they can't get any help. Where do they turn now? They turn to me, so we're putting this on the air. We're gonna see what happens. I, I think that this is, uh, I think I'm gonna hear from a lot more people. Yes, and hopefully so. an investigation will soon be underway. We'll see. Thank you, Rob. Thanks, All Rob. Right.